Hi, I'm Sonia and Jewel to bring this is a collective reading, tarot reading, don't try and force the crown to fit, it might belong to a different king or queen and know that it can be flipped around because it's a universal crown. So only take a resonate, leave the rest of someone else and know it can be flipped around while the person you're dealing with. This is a collective reading for Taurus. Welcome Taurus, hopefully you're doing very well. Let's see what we have for you now. I'm so excited about this because this looks like a cool one. This is a passionate new beginning. It looks like it really is cool because we have some sort of passionate new start. Oh lordy, look at the flames on that. That's fire sign energy. Oh, somebody has anxiety and sleepless nights. You have a passionate new beginning and somebody is worried about that. They can't sleep. Oh lordy, so it looks like someone's waited too long. They keep you hanging so, so long. And now you have a passionate new beginning and you're moving into karma waters. So you're cutting out some sort of toxic situation possibly. You're moving into karma waters and things are starting to balance out for you. The challenge is wish fulfillment. So you wish fulfillment here. This is really something beautiful. Somebody here has stayed stuck. Someone stayed stuck in a situation. You are the wish fulfillment. And this is to do with a third party. Somebody here stayed stuck. You are the wish fulfillment. But they can't move forward, they can't pass go, and they can't collect $200. This is some sort of third party. So third party could be family, friends, children, puppy dogs, tails, and puppies, and kittens. Looks like we have mother energy. We have a feminine energy here who is very nurturing and very loving. This is Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, so this could be you. But there's somebody here who stayed stuck because there's a third party. So they see you as very abundant, very loving, and very beautiful, but they, looks like they stayed stuck to do with the two party. Oh, dear, oh, Larry. Whatever that was. So distant past, you've become very balanced. This is Sagittarius energy. You become very kind of balanced. So it's like pouring one cup to the other and getting a good balance, good flow coming on here. This is actually juggling. So you have been juggling, but it looks like you've actually started to balance things out. Oh, looks like we have the counterpart match. This is Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. We have a counterpart match here. So this, in the distant past, you could have met your match here. Somebody who was a perfect match for you. And this is Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn. This is somebody here. Two people that are great in business. This is amazing. A match here. So this is also Divine Masculine. Looks like you have met your match. But this is also Divine Masculine Aries, Aries energy. Somebody here who is the most beautiful king in the deck. So somebody that is very stable where they could be controlling of their emotions. So this person could actually be a Divine Masculine or there could be two people here. This is Aries and then Virgo Taurus Capricorn. And we have Sagittarius. So there's some situation here. This is somebody who possibly went to focus on their money and they are very they could be a business owner. They could also be a divine masculine. Recent past, this is an ending. So this is Scorpio energy. This is an ending, so it's a new beginning here. Oh lordy, we have 1010. This is actually wow, look at this. This is like happily ever after. This is like generational wealth. This is wow, this is an ending. So it's like the beginning of something beautiful here. Someone that's a knight in shining armor. Someone would like to come in and sweep you off your feet here. This is so beautiful. Oh wow, look at that. So you've had some sort of ending, but this has brought in some sort of beautiful knight of cups. Someone who could be Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio. This is somebody who is so loving and caring. They are very beautiful. This is your thoughts. You're thinking about somebody who has rushed in here. This is impulsive. Someone you're thinking about who could be a near sign Virgo. They could be a Virgo as well. But it's Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. This is somebody here who's coming in quickly and swiftly who would like to speak the truth. Now, it looks like they're coming in very fast and they would like to offer you some sort of truth. The sort of truth they would like to rush in and speak their truth now. There's lots of messages coming in as well from this person. It looks like you have a beautiful kind of happily ever after that's coming towards you recently. So the future here, there's some sort of message of from somebody who has a lot of passion. This is somebody that could be younger than you. They could be a fire sign, Leo, Sagittarius and Aries. 
this is also your ships coming in here. So this is actually feminine energy. This is like beautiful. This is a distant past. So we have the counterpart match. So this is actually the match to this person. So in the future, this is actually feminine energy. Need to trust your intuition and having a very strong intuition. This is also like a birth. Could be giving birth to new things, new businesses, babies. Be careful if you can get pregnant, because this could be pregnancy. But you have your ships coming in here. This is Leo, Sagittarius and Aries. This is also like really beautiful kind of abundance. Being really financially, like being very abundant on your own. And also um, that you are very intuitive. You could have intuitive gifts and also like just really beautiful and very like the most beautiful queen in the deck so your fears are that you have to walk away from something this is something you're walking away from it looks like there's somebody who's crying over spilt milk that you're walking away this is somebody here who's rejected you possibly or you've had so much disappointment and you're just walking away from it all this is somebody here who's very attractive you could be walking away from leo sagittarius and aries somebody who's a lot of traction for you and maybe vice versa so other people see you as crying over spilt milk so you actually are disappointed in this situation you had a lot of disappointment this is also union coming into union here and actually like a new cycle beginning like really just um you're coming into union with yourself and it's also bringing in this new beginning here but you're crying out a spilt milk a little bit. Try not to focus on the lack. Try and focus. Realise that there's two other cups there in the background. So that not everything is lost. So this is your hopes. You're hoping that you can balance things out. This is also working very hard. You're very good at your job. You're getting noticed for what you do. You're hoping for like some sort of new good news for your job and that. Because we have an ending. So it's a new beginning. The Scorpio energy. This is also the Hermit. So this is Virgo energy. You're like really just becoming more balanced, actually like juggling and you are actually working very hard. So this is actually like there's an ending so it's a new beginning. Virgo energy as well. So this is also you're going with it and healing, having time out after this ending and you're focusing on your work it looks like. Because you're getting really good at your job and other people are noticing you. So the outcome is that it's really paying off because you have generational wealth. This is a whole lot of wealth coming towards you that you have really put the work in and things are actually coming out for you. This is actually a shake-up. So this could be some sort of shocking situation. There is some sort of tower, which is kind of a big, big shake-up. But looking at that Ten of Pentacles, <coughs> something quite amazing. This is somebody rushing in here. Someone impulsive. This person you're thinking about, they could be an air sign. Um, Libra, Gemini, Aquarius. But it looks like you have to walk away from toxic situations walking away from anything that's not serving you, anything that is not good for you, and actually focusing on your work. So you're doing very hard, you're hard, working very hard, and it's actually really paying off for you. So this is actually bringing down the tower. This is a shocking revelation that something's built on faulty foundation, something toxic, and this is actually really just paying off because this is some sort of winning. It looks like it's a winning. You're winning, and you're like really just getting amazing wealth here because of your hard work so very cool whatever that is and not only that recent past you have happily ever after this is like really beautiful not a shining armor i'm really excited for you bye